All right, welcome back to the podcast quick start guide. In a previous lecture, I went over how to record and post process your audio so that it sounds professional. And once you've exported uh, your audio out to a WAV file, it's now time to prep it for upload. Okay, and so today what we're going to go over is we're going to go over how to tag the audio in order to prep it for upload. Okay, so before you publish your podcast audio onto iTunes or Stitcher or whatever service you want to upload it to, you need to provide some basic info about your podcast within the file itself. And this is called tagging your audio file. This is also called editing your ID3 tags and metadata. Uh, just some terminology to throw around so that you recognize it when you hear it. And you know, just as an example, some of the info you're going to be adding is going to be the title of your podcast, your name, the episode number, and some artwork that kind of represents your podcast. Okay, and so here's just a nice list of what you're gonna need in order to tag your file. So first things first, you're gonna to need to know the name of your podcast. And I just thought I'd give you an example with mine. My podcast is called the My Wife Quit Her Job Podcast. Start a business online that suits your lifestyle and spend more time with your loved ones. Now, first and foremost, I want you to notice how I used a very descriptive title with lots of keywords and a catchy tagline. You should do this as well when naming your podcast for the purposes of tagging your audio. Okay, so the next thing you need to know are you know what keywords that you're going to be associating with your name as the author of your podcast. And once again, as an example, here's mine. It's Steve Chu colon, e-commerce expert, entrepreneur, blogger, online store owner, and marketer. Okay, and once again, you, you notice how I appended a lot of the specific keywords within my name and this is going to help for search in iTunes and other services and like likewise you should do the same with your mp3 file when you tag it okay and then finally you're going to need a graphic that kind of represents your podcast now right now the recommended resolution is 1400 by 1400 pixels in size uh, it actually keeps going up so I wouldn't be surprised if a year from now they want a much larger graphic for your podcast but anyways this graphic is not only going to be used uh, in your mp3 files but it's also going to be used again when you upload and launch your podcast on iTunes or Stitcher Radio this is basically the graphic that's going to represent your entire podcast when it's displayed in iTunes okay and then finally you're going to need iTunes installed on your computer uh, for the purposes of this demo, creating and tagging the MP3 file can actually be done with a wide variety of tools, but I thought it would be best to use iTunes since all of you are probably going to need it anyways in order to, in order to get your podcast on there. So uh, iTunes is free, and I'm going to need you to install it on your computer before we begin. Okay, so I just launched iTunes, and before we begin, what we first need to do is adjust some of the settings for mp3 file creation. Now, if you recall from the last uh, episode, I showed, you how, I showed you how to export a WAV file. Okay, And a WAV file is essentially uncompressed audio, and the file is going to be really large, somewhere in the order of a hundred, hundreds of megabytes. And of course, what we need to do with that WAV file is we need to shrink it down into an mp3 before we uh, you know, prep it uh, for upload for your podcast. Okay, so the first thing you need to do once you launch iTunes is you need to adjust the MP3 settings. So you're going to need to click on this upper left corner thing of iTunes, click on Preferences. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to click on Import Settings. Okay, and you're going to want to say to, to import everything using the MP3 encoder. And then in terms of your MP3 quality settings, I like to export my MP3 files uh, with 128 kilobits per second. Now, if you find that you have a lot of music in your audio and that sort of thing, I would consider going to 160 or 192. But if all you have is going to be voice, which compresses very well, then 128 kilobits per second should be plenty, uh, plenty good enough quality for your audio. And again, it's a trade-off, right? Because if you choose a higher quality audio, uh, it's going to take up more space, and as a result, you're going to end up paying more for uh, for audio file hosting. So, you know, once again, if you if you're only using voice, leave it at 128k. If you have some sort of music, I would consider choosing a higher um, quality bit rate. Okay, so once you select this, go ahead and click OK and OK again, and then what you want to do, you want to drag over the WAV file that you created. So I'm just going to drag one over as an example. So this one, for the purposes of this demo, it's called Adam Final. And then I want to right-click here 
and then I want to say create mp3 version okay so what it's doing now is it's creating an mp3 version from that WAV file that I uh, dragged over here okay once the WAV file is done being converted to mp3 file you should hear an audio sound indicating that it's done and then the next step that you need to do is you want to right click on the mp3 file and then click on get info Okay, and so this window will pop up and you want to go over to info and remember all that stuff I told you to prep now's the time that you're gonna to need to pull out that information and fill in some of these fields okay and so first things first you need to put the name of this particular episode of the podcast and what I usually like to do is I usually like to append my podcast name and then an episode number and I always use three digits here because I plan on having you know hundreds and hundreds of podcast episodes and by using three digits, it all kind of like nicely lines up sequentially, uh, you know, when you when it's being displayed. And that's why I recommend you use three digits as opposed to two or one digits. Uh, and the reason for that is uh, episode two and episode twenty will tend to get clumped together if you don't use three digits. Okay, so I'm just going to make this my wife quit her job 099, and then I said this is a demo podcast tagging. Okay, so remember under artist, that was the, the name that you chose for yourself. And so what you want to do is you want to just cut and paste that here. Under album artist, you want to cut and paste your name as well. And under album, I usually enter in my podcast name. So I'm just going to put that here. Under grouping, the same thing. And under composer, I'm going to put my name as well. Okay. And under comments, I just put you know what, what this podcast episode is all about. So this podcast is about teaching you how to tag your mp3 file. Okay. Under genre I put podcast and then I put of course I put in the track number which is one in this case and then I click on this artwork tab and then I add the artwork that I created that 1400 by 1400 graphic and let me see here it is and there it is and once you've done all that it's time to click OK and there you have it so this mp3 file is actually ready to go and what you want to do now is you want to just drag and drop it into your final mp3 folder and for all intents and purposes this mp3 file is now ready to be uploaded to Libsyn okay and you know in a subsequent episode I'm going to show you how to set up your RSS feed and actually submit your podcast to iTunes in which case you'll be almost complete with the course okay see you in the next episode